One of the best time-saving tools I've ever implemented in my business is a calendar booking app to help me book meetings with clients and schedule appointments, online Zoom sessions, and things like that. Now, previously I was using a tool called Calendly, but I have recently made the switch to one called TidyCal. I'm gonna talk you through exactly why I made the switch in this video, as well as talk you through all of TidyCal's best features in a review. But first of all, why might you want to use a calendar scheduling tool like this? As I said, it's really useful for booking meetings with potential clients like discovery calls, things like that, but also arranging meetings with people on your team, people in your industry, potential clients for either paid one-to-one -one sessions or just normal meetings or collaborations like podcast calls. And the main reason why I love using a tool like this is because it saves so much time going back and forth, trying to figure out a time that suits both people. There's nothing worse than going through like 10 different email threads just to find a a suitable date and time for a call with someone. Whereas using one of these tools, you can just send them the link and the person can have a look at a calendar view of all your available dates and then select which one works for them. And yes, you can customize all of that availability to suit you. It doesn't just have to be any gap on your calendar, which is what I was worried about when I first started using these tools. You can set up very specific slots so that people don't just have full access to booking any time slot with you in your whole calendar, don't worry. Now, as I mentioned, I was previously using a tool called Calendly to manage this, which is one of the most popular calendar booking tools on the market. But what I found was the free plan was very limiting. They only let you set up one type of event. So if you wanted to offer lots of different types and lengths of calls or appointment types on your calendar, you couldn't do that in the free plan. Meanwhile, with TidyCal's free plan, you can do that. And so to really get the most out of using this tool and use it in the way that I wanted to, I would have had to subscribe to one of Calendly's paid plans. Now, I am no stranger to paying for the software tools that I use on a daily basis in my business. But if you compare the fact that Calendly's paid plan is a monthly subscription or an annually subscription that you have to continue paying with the fact that TidyCal has a lifetime offer running at the moment where it is a one-time only purchase of just $29 with no subscription needed, then obviously it's a no-brainer to go with this tool. If you want to give TidyCal a go and get that same lifetime offer, I do have a link in the description of this video so go and check that out. But obviously the price has played a big part in me switching. However, TidyCal also offers loads of awesome features as well, even on their free plan. And their free plan is much more generous than Calendly too, which is why I'm really happy to recommend it. If you want a full breakdown comparison of TidyCal's free plan versus Calendly's free plan and their paid plans all compared, go and check out my TidyCal versus Calendly blog post. I'll leave a link in the description. So without further ado, let's get on with the TidyCal walkthrough and review. So if we're talking about TidyCal's free plan, it's great that they let you have multiple different booking types. Obviously in your business, it's quite common for us to have meetings that are for different purposes or that have different lengths. For example, I've got my website client discovery call, which I allow 30 minutes for, but a podcast recording might take 40 minutes, while my one-to-one -one sessions might take 90 minutes. So being restricted on how many different booking types you can have and therefore the lengths of appointments that get added and the spaces that get added to your booking calendar was very limiting with Calendly, which is why the free version of TidyCal is already so much better. When you set up your free TidyCal account, you can connect one of your calendars from either a Google account, an Office account, iCal, all of the main kind of calendar apps that you might be using. And because you've connected that, what TidyCal is going to do is look at your availability on your existing calendar, and it won't ever let people book meetings with you on dates and times where you're already busy. So that's why you want to connect up your calendar, which is great. On the paid plan, you can connect up to 10 calendars. So if you have lots of calendars that you want to take into account with your availability, then that's the way to go. But when it's displayed, your availability on that calendar that I just showed you. It's not just taking any free space that you have in your calendar because that would be a bit of a nightmare. What you can do when you're creating an appointment type is first of all, you wanna set the duration and say when you're available for the booking. And then you can choose specific days where you want to display availability. So for these discovery calls, I only want people to be able to book them on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays between these time slots. And you can add different time windows to suit you. And you can also set more advanced parameters around your availability as well, such as how far out people can book appointments and meetings with you. Maybe you don't want people to be able to book same day meetings with you or even within the same couple of days. Maybe you want to limit the amount of these types of meetings that you have per day and leave a certain amount of space between meetings. So as you can see, you can get really specific about
about what you actually want your availability to be so you're not going to be hounded with meetings all over the place when you don't want them. Once you've created your appointment type, it will give you a link that you can then easily copy and send to people or you can embed the booking calendar on your website easily just by clicking embed on website and it will give you a snippet of code to copy and paste into your website and that's available with the free plan and the paid plan. Also available on both plans is the new date polls feature and this works similarly to doodle polls if you've ever used those but basically if you've got a meeting that's coming up where you're trying to organize the perfect date and time for multiple people this is where you can create a poll of different dates of times that people can vote for and then it will show you which is the most popular um, date and time to go with so let's say we want to have a 30 minute meeting and we're trying to decide on a few different dates and see which one most people can make. You can create lots of different options for the dates and the times that people might be able to make. Click create and then again, it's gonna give you a meeting that you can then send to people and people can select which times they're available, they can submit it, and then you'll see the results of when is the best time to actually host this meeting. But let's say you host one-to-one -one sessions over Zoom and you want to take payment for those sessions, you can easily do that all within the TidyCal app as well. You just need the paid plan, which as I say, is a one-time payment of $29. All you need to do this is click on create a booking type, fill in all the details and the availability, and then click on view advanced booking settings and then go down to where it says charge for this booking. You want to tick it, set a price, and then you can set up where you want to actually receive this money from. And you can use either PayPal or Stripe as your payment processor, and you can set all of this up in the integration section. So then what will happen if you send that calendar booking page to someone, they won't be able to book a slot with you until they've actually paid the price that you set on that booking type. When you're using the paid version of TidyCal as well, if we go into the advanced booking types, you can see that you can set a location. So maybe you're just going to have a phone call, in which case you don't need to set a location, or you could set it as a phone number. If you're having an in-person meeting, you can choose a physical address. Or if it's going to be over a video call, you can connect either Google Meet or Zoom. And if you set this up in the integration settings, what it will do is when someone books an appointment with you, it will automatically generate a Zoom link, which gets sent to them and gets sent to you so that you both have the right video conferencing link when it comes time for your meeting. On the pay plan, you can also enable group bookings so that multiple people can join your meeting and also enable package bookings so that people can book multiple meetings with you at once as well, which is great, again, if you're offering some kind of paid one-to-one -one session. I also love the fact that you can easily customize people's email reminders. And this is another huge benefit of using a calendar tool like this, is that you and the people who have booked the meeting with you are much less likely to forget about a call or miss it because it will automatically send email reminders, just checking in, making sure everyone is aware that you've got a call book tomorrow or reminding people that if they need to cancel the call, they can just click on the link that gets sent to them automatically. And in the paid plan of TidyCal, you can actually customize Customize these emails as well. So you can just type in here and tailor this with your own brand voice and your own policies, for example. Another thing that's really cool, especially if you are offering paid sessions, is setting up a custom redirect. So usually if someone books in a meeting with you, once they put in all their details, they'll just see a screen that says thank you or something along those lines, but you can actually customize the screen that it shows people after they filled in their details and booked the appointment with you. And this is what's called a confirmation redirect URL. So for example, once someone has booked this appointment type with me, I've checked this so that they'll then automatically be redirected to this page on my website, just saying thank you. And it's branded with my own branding and website. So it feels a little bit more personal. And finally, if you're into automations and connecting all your different tools that you use in your business, you'll be glad to know that TidyCal works perfectly with Zapier. There's loads of different actions and triggers you can use to connect TidyCal with the other tools that you use. For example, if you get a new booking, not only will you automatically get an email about the new booking yourself and it will show up in your bookings area, but you can also use Zapier to add details about that booking to your project management system. For example, you could connect that um, as an action in the Zap. Or if a new contact books a appointment with you, you could automatically send their contact details to your email marketing software using Zapier. 
So as you can see, TidyCal is a great choice for most businesses, especially based on the fact of their current lifetime offer of only $29 as a one-time payment. You just cannot go wrong with a deal like that. So if you want to check it out and give it a try, either on a free or a paid plan, go ahead and click the link in the video description. I hope you found this video helpful and I'll see you again soon with another one.